Hey, this is Ian with Hammer in Hand. Today we're going to build an exhaust. Right here's one of the builder kits that we offer for you guys. Basically, you get your straight pipes, uh, a couple different flange ends there, the trumpets, slash cuts. Those right there are going to be your Evo, iron head, and shovel head exhaust flanges. They also come with a two, two and a half inch inside radius bends and two three and a half inch radius bends. So basically I pick the right flanges and just start fitting it up, seeing which way I want to run the exhaust. Right here I tack this flange on, I uh, guess I wouldn't call it a flange, it's where I'm going to join the front pipe to the rear pipe there, uh, get that tacked in place first and then I can actually mark out where I'm going to need to cut it out on the inside so that I can weld that in there. So I'm just adding a couple more tacks on either side of where I'm going to be cutting out to keep the pipe in place and then I will take a uh, cut off wheel to that, chop that out, and then fit the other piece back together. Here I'm just laying out some uh, templates to make up some heat shields to go over the outside of the exhaust. I'm going to use brass, uh, do some speed holes in it. Pretty simple, just trying to keep it clean. paper template out onto the brass, use my throat with shear to trim those out. Using the paper templates now just to transfer the center points for all the holes I'll be drilling into these heat shields. Right here I'm actually going to screw them to a 4x4 four four so I can use the hole saw for drilling out the bigger holes for the uh, speed holes there. And it just helps keep it in place and gives you a good backing to drill into. Keeps the brass from distorting quite so bad on you if you don't have a punch. Turning down some bungs to attach the heat shields to the pipe. 
weekend that I used brass. I didn't really want to trust a solder down joint and uh, the typical hose clamps you would use if you had a steel heat shield. onto the heat shield and then I'm gonna use that to place the bungs on the tube to keep everything straight. And once you have them tacked in place you can pull the heat shield back off and weld them fully. Right here's the brass plate I made to uh, get some back pressure on this exhaust. First time I've ever tried it, so I guess we'll just have to find out together if this works. Right, here's the exhaust mount for the back end there just to keep the pipe from sagging on you. After I had it all tacked together and welded up, I found out I couldn't get it back on the bike in one piece. So I ended up cutting it in half right there and making a new flange to make it a two-piece exhaust. Clean it down with acetone. Now I'm just shooting it with some high temp paint because I'm going to be putting exhaust wrap on it. So I don't feel that a ceramic coat or a chrome plating would quite be necessary. This will just help keep the pipes from rusting most around the bike. Right here I'm using some layout line, basically I'm keeping it gapped about an inch and a half from each loop. I'm going to use this to measure up the header wrap so I can cut it into separate pieces and not have to fight the whole 30 foot length that it comes on, them, on the roll. Soak the head of wrap in water just to help get it a little bit tighter. Um, start wrapping, keeping the edges and your uh, seam placement even throughout. Uh, use zip ties to hold it in place until you get the uh, safety wire or uh, stainless steel zip ties, whatever you decide you're going to use to hold it on there. Right here, I'm taking a uh, the safety wire, I'm actually wrapping it with some uh, copper wire that I stripped out of some Romex. Uh, twisting that together and then flattening it out, it actually gives it kind of a chain link look. First time I've ever tried this, so we'll find out if it actually lasts once it's on the bike. If it doesn't, I might just have to go back to regular stainless safety wire. shields back on there now they've got it all wrapped up pacing out the holes after they've had paint on them and installing it back on the bike make sure everything still fits the way it's supposed to
take once it's all finished up. Actually, I had to finish the electrical on this bike and uh, do reassembly. Just came back from powder coat here the other day, so next video may be running wire and uh, getting all that stuff hooked up and final assembly. Thank you.